but also the question, does Britain have a sick note culture with a lazy workforce? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think, um, look, I mean, I'm, I'm getting on a bit, right? You're six, I'm 62, I've got two years on you, right? And <laughs> That's you can, so great that and, everyone and knows I'm honest, 60 we, now, we all know anyway. You look good, though. Look good. Well, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, my work at. I, I, I'm feeling terrible. I got, I've got a cold. Yeah, you look pretty cool as well. But, <laughs> but honestly, you, if you can set your watch, I kind of groan. There's an election coming. The government gets tired. The casting around for something to say that's going to keep the base or generate some energy about something. It usually involves having a go at somebody, right? And the language that we use, it gets used again, even in the question, do we have a sick note culture? It's cruel. You know it. You know it. If you're at home and you... And the number that you use, Chris, um, 870,000 people. Well, 2 million people have got long COVID. It's a recognised illness as a result of the COVID. So let's just be clear about what we're talking about here. I've very rarely met someone who doesn't want to work and doesn't want help to work. For every month you're out of work, your mental health deteriorates, uh, but measurable mental health, anxiety and depression <coughs> scores. You need help to regain confidence, to build the skills, retain the skills. And you might go back to different work. When somebody says sick note culture, when somebody says that you need um, specialists, what people have got, and your question was very pertinent, what people have got to, to used to thinking is that it doesn't mean an, an additional investment in occupational therapists. That's not what you're talking about. And nobody believes that's what you're talking about. What they think you're talking about is somebody who works for the DWP, or a private sector company who's measured by the ability to beat you back into a job, which is not the same thing. Looking at the NHS, 40, my members tell me 41% of NHS staff went in to feel unwell at any one point, right? 54% went into work while feeling unwell. 34% are emotionally exhausted, and you all know what that feels like, right? 30% are burnt out. 57%, however, think the NHS actually does quite a good job. And I'm really pleased that NHS England have continued the support, the professional support for professionals that work in the NHS. So we need to do this. We need to stop using this performative language. You know, Rishi knows better. He does. He, you know, he runs the country. He, it doesn't matter about him being a billionaire. Bit of empathy, bit of kindness, bit of understanding. Talk to people. People want to work. Let's work with those people, give them the support they need and the time that they need, and they'll work. But let's not beat people, let's not be cruel, and let's not waste money. And there's no point saying, wait, we're spending 100 billion quid, so therefore we've got to be cruel to a section of the community. That no is just... Cruel. No one's saying that. It's no not... Saying that. Well, it's what it sounded like. It's what it sounded like. And it, what it, it's what it sounded like when, when Rishi used those terms. And I noticed when you said to... Shelley, I wouldn't put it like that. That's exactly how the Prime Minister put it. Yeah. So can we just wind our neck in, let's understand how people actually live and give people right. actual support? Charles Moore. <laughs>